Hi, welcome to Faro Arm and Autodesk Power Inspect tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to learn all about probing. The different topics that we are going to cover are what is probing, what is available in probe kit case, how to insert a probe, and how to calibrate a probe. In the later videos, we are going to see how to probe each feature of any component. What is a probe in metrology? So let us see the definition. Probes are elaborate switches that are designed to trigger on contact with a highly repeatable triggering characteristic when an event occurs. Event in the sense contact with the surface of an object. Probing is traditionally associated with contact probes that are used for dimensional measurement, that is metrology, on CMMs, that is coordinate measuring machines. A touch trigger probe takes a series of single measurements at discrete points. When the sensor inside the ball detects the workpiece, it sends a signal with the exact coordinates. Measurement arms are 3D measurement devices like the Faro arm developed in response to growing need for a probing solution that provided more portability and flexibility than a fixed CMM. So that is why probes are connected to the quantum arm and we are going to execute the inspection process. Let us see what is inside a probe kit case. So probe kit case consists of probes and devices which will help us in calibrating the probes. So this is a 3 mm probe and here is a 6 mm probe. This is compensation cone and this is compensation sphere. Let us see how to fit the probe. Remove the cap. Take the required probe. I am going to use 6 mm probe. Lower the probe locking lever. Align the arrow on the probe with the arrow on the arm. After inserting, pull up the lever. Check if it has fitted well. Before starting any inspection project, we should always compensate the probes so that we get the accurate results. Before using the calibration or compensation plate, assure the underside of the plate and the surface it will be placed on are clean and free of any debris. We are using glue gun to stick the calibration plate to the surface. Any component that has to be inspected should be rigidly fixed to the surface. On your laptop that is connected to the Faro Arm, go to the Faro Arm Manager and double click on the 6mm probe to activate it. Open the compensation cone and screw it to the calibration plate. Let's see how to do whole compensation. Open Faro Arm Manager and at the top you can click on Whole Compensation. Using the dialog box that has opened, we can calibrate the probe by viewing the instructions. First of all, place the ball probe in the hole and start in a vertical position. Press and hold the green front button. Sweep to one of the horizontal position. Ball probe has to be firmly seated in the hole. Release the green front button to move to the next position. After the three positions, press red button. Place the probe in vertical position. Rotate the seventh axis after pressing the green button. Then release the green button and press the red button. There, you might be getting a success. 
If not, repeat the steps. Let's do arm compensation. In the Faro Arm Manager, click on Arm Compensation. Place the probe in the conical socket and move the elbow to one of the ends till the green indicator on the laptop dialog box is dragged to the end. Press the green front button. Now, sweep to opposite end. Sweep the elbow back. Repeat the process if success is not achieved. Let's do SPAT compensation. SPAT stands for Single Point Articulation Test. In the Faro Arm Manager, click on SPAT compensation. Place the probe in the conical socket. Move the elbow to one of the ends and press the green button. Sweep the elbow to the opposite end. Rotate the probe 180 degrees. Sweep the elbow back. Repeat the steps if success is not achieved.